Hi everybody, this is Stephanie. It is Saturday, December 23rd. It has been a very interesting day today. It has. I'm quite exhausted. Today, I had an appointment to have my AC people come over to maintain my AC for the year. And, um, you know, when I had inspection done on my home before I closed, when they inspect the AC system, they're not supposed to go inside the AC panels to check and see what condition it's in. All they do is they give you a description of the AC. They tell you generally what it looks like on the outside. Um, they tell you the tonnage, which is the size of the AC. But they're not supposed to go inside the AC to see if it's working or not. They can run the thermostat off and on. They can run the heat system. They can run the AC. They just want to know if it works like it's supposed to. So, anyways, today, I got a lot more than what I bargained for when the AC guy came over. So, Anyways, before I continue, I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers and to those new subscribers who have just joined within the past week or so. I thank you very much, guys. I really, really appreciate it. So, anyways, we'll be right back with more. I'm not suggesting anything so complicated. A new place. A new home for a while Let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back Take my time, just enjoy the ride A new man passing by Life is good, best I've ever felt So anyways, the AC guy came to my house at about 10 o'clock. And um, in the first place he went was in a backyard to locate the um, external system. And then he went inside, which the handler is inside the crawl space, or if you want to call it an attic, and that's what that was. So he went up there, and he did his cleaning, and did a tune-up, and check all the systems, make sure things was working fine. Um, to make a long story short, he did find that the coolant or the Freon was very, very low. And um, he had to refill it. It was borderline empty. But the thing was, when, when I had moved in November 2nd, it was actually very warm out still. And I had been using it and I couldn't tell whether it was low or not because the house was getting very, very cold from running the AC during the day. And um, also, he went outside, took the covers off of the uh, compressor where the unit is, took the cover off, cleaned inside, sprayed all the cooling, sprayed all the coils with a special spray and cleaner. He rinsed everything off, went back inside into the crawl space attic where the handler was with his um, Freon leak detector. And come to find out, he says I have a very, very small leak and his detector located it right away. He doesn't think it's a huge leak, but he thinks it might have contributed to the system running low on Freon. 
he did a very very good job he was in here a couple of hours and uh, he checked the pressure in the system he said that's how he can tell if the freon was leaking when the pressure is low he says there's definitely a, definitely a leak when he comes back a year from now to do another maintenance because i'm going to do this once a year I wanted, I wanted a peace of mind, was why I called him up. I, it's why I booked an appointment with him. Um, he said that to refill the Freon, it's about $60 a pound. And that's like 60 pounds of pressure. Not 60 pounds, it's a pound. That's how he can tell how many pounds it requires by the amount of pressure that he's got to put in there or something like that. I am not an AC specialist, that's for sure. But those were the terms he used and um, he, he also cleaned the hander upstairs. I had already put a new filter in so he didn't mess with that at all. But he did a great job and everything is working good. The um, Forced heart. I mean, the the, uh, the forced heat is working fine. The AC is working good. So the other thing I want to talk about. I went up in the crawl space as well, and the owners had left a lot of their belongings in my attic crawl space. I'm talking about. Empty boxes everywhere, um, car parts everywhere, it's like old brake pads and old uh, brake rotors were up there. Um, a lot of crazy stuff was up there and I had to bring everything down. They had spare tile, about a case of spare tile up there and these objects are very heavy to be putting in the attic. They had plastic baskets, you name it, they had it all over there. And wooden boxes, brooms, all kinds of stuff. Anyways, in my community, there's a hopper, a trash hopper, that waste management gonna come in to empty with their trucks. My vehicle was was filled twice. I'll have some, I'll have a video at the end of this video, so you can see the amount of garbage that I removed from my attic crawl space. Yeah. So, anyways, the AC guy did say that the unit was was put in or was manufactured in 2018. That's not that old, but the coils were all rusted up, which is normal. Condensation does build up up there, and the coils will, will have a lot of moisture on them, and over years, they do get rusty. So yeah. It will cost me about $3,500 to replace just the handler. The unit, the unit outside was normal wear and tear, you know. These things are outside in the elements, the hot sun and the rain and everything. But overall, everything is working good and knock on wood. If I have to replace the Freon once a year, he said, you don't usually have to replace those. The only time you gotta replace the Freon is when there's a leak or there's a hole or something in the oil. And his meter did detect leak, leak gases, which is gas form. Okay, not liquid form of course, but gas form. So he, he wasn't surprised that found the leak. I guess the system that old. See, figure it was manufactured 
since 2018. Let's say it would end in 2018. So it's 19, 20, 20, 20. So it's about six years old now, yeah, the system. And he says that most of the time, when a handler is replaced, the unit outside is replaced with the same time and at the same time. There's a few things I want to do to the system myself and that's getting some kind of chicken wire uh, fencing that's malleable so I can put over the unit outside because the unit outside was full of leaves and I'm quite surprised my home inspector didn't know that in the uh, home inspection maybe he did maybe I didn't catch it but the unit outside was full of leaves and now with spick and span, nice and clean, uh, I got fresh Freon, uh, it looks nice. What I like to do is, over the years, the pad that the unit is on has sunken a little bit in the ground because this is Florida and it's a lot of sand. The heavy rain, a lot of dirt will come up and the pad could go down a little bit. So, I'm going to dig a trench around that one of these days and fill the uh, trench around the unit outside with some cobblestones or, or pieces of stones or something to keep the dirt from mounding up against the, the unit when we get heavy rain. But I was disappointed to see how much garbage that the owners have left in my crawl space. It was pathetic. Pathetic. Pathetic, pathetic. So that's it with that. Um, I had taken a bath this morning and I didn't plan to go up in the crawl space and do all that cleaning and get rid of, get, get rid of all the garbage that the old owners left behind. I was all stinky and sweaty and grimy. And I had just taken a nice bath before the AC guy came. But I'm, I'm good now. And I freshened up a little bit. Changed my, my top. And I wasn't going to eat anything for dinner today. I was going to fast today. But I was getting very hungry. At work yesterday, I really, really picked out guys. I'm afraid I've gained some weight. I've probably gained at least 10 pounds over the year, over the last year and a half. That's taken out on ice cream, a lot of bread, and just eating like a maniac. You know, I have to turn to eating more healthier. Today I had salad and diet lasagna that's it I didn't have no breakfast I didn't have no lunch and I've been eating I've been drinking a lot of fluid I've been drinking a lot of fluid um, last night when I went to bed I was bloated I was so bloated I looked like Humpty Dumpty on the wall okay it was embarrassing so whatever I ate about an hour ago was my lunch. That's my lunch, my dinner, and my breakfast, which was one serving of lasagna, which is which was frozen. I got at the supermarket last week, and fresh salad I made yesterday. I'm not gonna eat any more bread. I can't eat any rice because the carbohydrates just make me so bloated. And the past week. I've been really eating a light one scoop moderation of ice cream because I love ice cream. I shouldn't neglect it. I shouldn't neglect the things that I like. If I can just have small portions, I'll be fine. It doesn't mean I'm going to have bread. I'm, I'm, I'm out with the bread. I was eating Pepperidge Farm uh, cinnamon and raisin, which is delicious. I love that. I can't have anymore. I can't have anymore. I get so bloated that I can't even move. Last night I had a hard time sleeping. 
and this morning I went to the bathroom consecutively three times to move waste. It was just horrible. So right now I feel comfortable. I feel comfortable. This is how I have to feel. I gotta get, I gotta listen to the feedback that my body gives me when it comes to eating because yesterday I bought lasagna and salad. I ate one whole pie within two days. It was just crazy. It's just crazy. I can't continue to eat like men eat, like big guys eat. And that's how I was eating. I can't eat like that anymore. I can't eat like that anymore. It's making me sick. So because I've been home all day with the AC guy, and cleaning up my attic. Um, I just wanted to get out of the house. I just wanted to get out of the house. I stopped at Walmart and I got a camera holder, which is on my dashboard right now. That's why the angle of my videos are like head on. You can see the back of my vehicle. Um, yeah. And I'm just going for, for a nice little drive in the country here. Traffic's not too bad. It's beautiful out. I feel happy. Yeah. A few people have asked me if I'm going out of town to visit my family for Christmas. And I had to be very straightforward and say, no, I'm not going to go out of town to see my family. I'm not. I have, all I have is about a week's worth of sick time. And I'm saving that in the case in the case I get sick, or in case between now and my anniversary, I need to take a vacation time or something. If something happens on my family, I do want to be up there to support my brothers um, and show my respect to my family. Even though I just quit talking to my mother. Some of you are going to say, well, it's Christmas. Why aren't you talking to your, your mother and your father? I just, I just had enough. I can't take the disrespect anymore. You know, I, I respect them. Why can't they respect me? So that's why I decided not to anymore. So, and no, I'm not going to go up there for Christmas. I'm not going to go up there again unless I have to. If something happens that's an emergency and I'll book a flight and go up there for a few days and come back home you know but this is where I live this is my hometown this is where I like to be um, I have not made any solid friends here in the town where I moved to I do have a good friend who lives back in Bradenton and I haven't heard much from her lately and I take it she's spending a lot of time with her daughter you know it's the holidays and her father wasn't feeling very well so she could be very well be spending time with her dad and her daughter and I can't blame her she's very lucky to have her family here that she can go and spend time with them good for her and you know it's just everything else is so anyways like I said I'm going for a nice little town uh, <laughs> little town I'm going for a nice little ride here getting to know the area a bit um, work is going good and that's all I've been doing five days a week is going to work because uh, during the week I got to work at five o'clock it's too late to go for these drives so I'm going for a ride I'm gonna go check out some different towns and see what's there. And uh, oh, there's a supermarket right here. So I'm gonna go to Hernando and check it out and see what that's like, you know? And just kind of like drive around a little bit, get familiar with the area still. I haven't done that much. I went to, um, I went to another town about two weeks ago to buy some antiques, Ocala. So I got a little bit of familiar with Ocala 
it's kind of nice you know it's not bad but I'm gonna go to Hernando here and see what that's like um, about about three or four weeks ago I went to Brooksville to the town center you know I wasn't crazy about it I kind of got a glimpse of some hoodlums and I don't like groups of clans or groups of people that look to be very close together. It can spell problems for me, so I don't go. I like peace and quiet. I don't want to be around a lot of crowds. You know, I enjoy my privacy. But tomorrow, I mean, it's going to be Christmas this week. Uh, it's, to me, it's another sign that the year is over. And yeah. Not much happened except what I described to you guys, what I did today. Uh, after my little ride, I'm going to go home and just chill. I'm somewhat tired because I was tossing and turning so much last night. Because I was so bloated. If I tell you I felt like Humpty Dumpty on the wall, that's what I felt like and that's what I looked like. I went to the bathroom because I was so bloated. I stood in front of the mirror. I didn't like what I saw. I was full of gas, just plain bloated from eating so much at work. My, my supervisor bought food for my team and it was like uh, just sandwiches and I had a piece of cake when I was at work. It was like a strawberry shortcake. And, and then I also had my lasagna yesterday with salad and I came home, I was still bloated. But I emptied a lot about an hour ago. I feel very good now. I want to start drinking more and more fluid. Um, if I could, if I could get some antioxidant drinks to clean, to help cleanse and clean my system, I think that'll help me with the uh, the bloated feeling that I get. Um, I, w I wasn't strong enough psychologically to go the whole day without eating something. But I had a light dinner. I think a nice big salad with tomatoes, olives, and um, cucumbers was very, very good. My favorite lettuce is romaine. I love romaine lettuce. I don't like iceberg lettuce. I love romaine lettuce and it was fresh. I just did it yesterday. So that's all that's going on right now, guys. Um, I'm gonna ride out for a couple of miles, a few more miles here. And then I'm gonna go home, chill out, get comfortable, pick up on my movie where I left off, do some editing of this video and get it out there for you guys. But I hope you guys have a nice weekend. Um, I, I'm sure I'll be talking to you guys. Um, have a Merry Christmas. Be safe, guys, when you're out visiting your family or hooking up your, your, uh, your Christmas lights. Make sure you guys don't overload on the extensions. And uh, don't forget to turn everything off before you go to bed. I just want, it. I just want all my subscribers to be safe and enjoy their holidays with their family. So, anyways... See you guys.